Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel and today's workout is going to be an intense hit strength 30 minute dumbbell workout. We're going to be moving with the dumbbells for most of the exercises, but we will do some high intensity intervals to get that body warm and juicy, all that blood flowing so we can squeeze out some of those reps with some of the lighter dumbbells we'll be using for today too. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and wait till the end, give this video a like if you guys liked it, share with your friends. It's coming to that time of year, sometimes we feel like slowing down a little bit, the weather turns, it gets a little colder, so let's keep our workout short and sweaty and intense and super purposeful so everything that we're doing there's a purpose towards why we're exercising the way we're exercising and we're feeling better with every single rep so let's get started our first uh, a sequence that we're gonna do is gonna have three exercises and we're gonna do both sides together but going side to side I'm gonna start with the dumbbell but you guys don't need to for the first set if we want to keep warming up and we'll do it twice and then we'll go into our second circuit so Grabbing one, I'm going to start with it up on my chest, I'm going to do five reps, stepping down, up, and then I'll do the other leg down, up. So leg to leg to leg, I'm alternating. You can keep the dumbbell wherever you want it, and let's do it. Come down nice and slow, touch the ground when you need to, and then up, give yourself as much help as you need. And then the other side, down, touch when you want, and up, and down, and up. And down, and up, down, up. Make sure we squeeze those reps out at the top, and up. That's three, two more per set. Down, up, and down, up. Last one, down. And relax, get, all right, so right into the next one. Let's get this thing going. We're gonna work a staggered stance, one like a deadlift, but we're gonna get a little bit of a roll down at the bottom to really stretch out our back and warm up for some of those core movements we'll be doing. So stagger the feet, we're gonna do side to side. We'll do three each though. I'm gonna let the dumbbell hang. So we wanna come down with a nice, strong, straight back. We're gonna breathe out, relax all the way down and stretch it out. We're gonna come back to the flat and then pull it back up to the top and then switch sides and flat nice strong lower back and relax and flat and pull it back good if you're getting all the way down feel like you want more space just keep the dumbbell more up on your chest it'll make it a little harder flat and relax and flat and squeeze back up nice One more time. Flat. Relax. Flat. Squeeze those hips through at the end. One more time. And flat. And relax. Flat. And pull. And relax. Nice. Down on the ground. I'm going to do this next one on the dumbbells. We're going to work our hamstrings a little bit here. Let's work on stretching out our chest a little bit. So we're gonna do one leg at a time, pulling into a back table, and we're gonna go side to side. We'll do three here. So the more bent in your knees to start, the easier it's gonna be. Starting with the hips up a little bit, and pull yourself up, and back. Strong abs at the top. Breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and out. And in. One more time, in, and out, and last one, in, and relax, and good job, you guys standing up, do one more set of that, and get into our next circuit, where we'll start picking up our pace a little bit, all right, dumbbell wherever it feels comfortable, Alternating leg to leg for five. That's three. 
three, looking good. strong and down and relax and flat and pull and the other side flat and relax flat, pull and, and relax ground nice all right let's finish warming up those hamstrings resting on the weights sometimes if the bar feels uncomfortable just rest on the flat part of the dumbbells or just use the floor all right let's do it three per side pulling up and back strong out and up and back and up and back up here let's take a couple of breaths our next sequence is going to go one side at a time we're going to go through it twice per side everything else will be done moving with both sides together so our first exercise i'm going to have a light dumbbell i'm going to use the light one on my chest i'm going to be in a squat i'm going to reach all the way out slow bring it back step back to a lunge turn and then reach over my top knee bring it back and then back to the middle i'm going to do three reps of that after that I put my bigger ones on the ground. We're gonna be going for 30 seconds. I'm gonna do four split squats. On four, I bend down. I can bend over a little bit, grab the weights, but make sure that you're not lifting and then straightening. You're gonna do three strong lunge squats. One, two, three, put them back down, and then do the splits again. You should really see what I have going on after that. Beautiful, after that, we're gonna be working some rows from the floor. From a table, working a little bit of side plank too, and then we'll finish up working into our side plank a little bit harder, pulsing out to finish the round for 20 seconds. So, without further ado, let's get going. Three reps here, starting in the squat, open up the stance or turn the feet out a little bit if it's hard for us to keep a bend when we extend. This is not an easy exercise to work. All right, holding that squat, ready, extend. And back, stepping to the lunge, turn, extend, focus on that top hand, the back hand, and back to the middle, reach, and back, stepping back, turn, extend, and back, one more time, reach, and back, step back, turn, extend, and back, and relax, all right. Let's get to work here. Put those weights down somewhere close by. We're going for 30 seconds here, starting in five, four, three, two, and go. One, two, three, four. Grab the weights. One, two, three, and down. One, two. Down to the ground. 
sorry, our next one. So I'm gonna start from my hands and my knees here, just so I can really focus on squeezing up every single row. I don't wanna to have to worry too much about keeping my balance really straight. So we're gonna go row, let's do it together here, three reps. Row up and down, bring the knee to the shoulder and down, row up, same side and down, bring the leg under and if we can, kick through and lift those hips, feel that side squeeze and down, that's one, breathe in and down, knee to shoulder and down, breathe in and down, knee under and across. Last one, elbow up, and down, knee to shoulder, and elbow up, and down, knee under and across, hold it. Now keep your foot on the ground if you need. We're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 10 more seconds. And one more time. And relax. Oh, beautiful. Set one. Done. Starting set two in about 10 seconds. Alright, grab that dumbbell. Let's do it. Hold the squat. Ready? And reach. Bring it back. Step back. Twist. And reach. Last one. Back. And relax, nice. All right, 30 seconds here. Take a breath. And go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. And down, nice. All right, to the rows. Let's do it, ready, and elbow up, breathe in. Squeeze that elbow in, and down. Knee to shoulder, and back, elbow up. And down, bring the knee under, and extend. Breathe in, and up, knee to shoulder. Breathe in, and down, under and extend. And back, one more time. Breathe in, and out, knee to shoulder. And breathe in, and out, knee under, hold, and dip. Down, up, down, up. Ten more seconds, a little less. Three, two, and time. And relax. Beautiful. One more set per side. Then we'll start working into our chest a little bit more with our shoulders and abs. After I like to cook out that back first so I can get a nice stretch with every ab movement that I do after. All right, let's give it 10 seconds. <sighs> Grab that dumbbell. And back to the first side. All right, holding into that squat. And ready, extend. And back, step back, twist and extend. And back, reach. Last one. And relax, nice. All right, these are really firing up the legs. Just try to keep a nice pace for a whole 30 seconds. 
Let's take a couple breaths. We're gonna start in four, three, two, and go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Two, three. Down, last one. Feel that squeeze here, and down. And down, knee to shoulder. And elbow up, and down, knee under, and extend. And back, last one. Under, reach, hold it, and dip. Let that foot touch the ground where we need it to. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and time. Beautiful. One more set. We're starting in 10 seconds here. Grab that little one. All right, holding into our squat, and let's do it. Ready, reach, and back. Step to the lunge, turn, extend, and back. And reach, and back, over, reach, and back. Last one. Relax, nice. Weights down. Let's go to five seconds. And let's burn out those legs. Starting right, two, one, and go. Entire back and row up and down, knee to shoulder and back, row up and down, bring it under, extend, lift those hips and down, nice. some water. We got three circuits left. They're all going to be a little shorter. We're going to go through them each twice. All right, so our next one, we're going to go leg to leg and we're going to go for three per side. So from a squat, we're going to take a big step, try to feel that stretch in the hip, shoulders nice and square, but I want you to really focus on pulling back and then twisting into an uppercut, not reaching too far, just past our head, squeezing into the top of our chest and our shoulder, and then we'll do the other side, three per side. After that, we're gonna come down to the floor on our elbows, 
and the dumbbells will move inside our hands. We're gonna do three plank jacks, step ourselves up to the dumbbells, and then two super deep push-ups. So drop to the knees if you need. I want you to really focus on coming down, but then keeping your stomach up as you push up, and then you can lift back up to the knees or to the feet. We'll finish on our back, working our abs with our chest a little bit more, and then we'll repeat one more time. All right, so let's do it. First one will be for reps, second one for time, third one will be for reps again. Hands on the shoulders. Starting from that squat, big stretch, feel that hip open, and pull back low, twist, upper cut, and then the other side, reach. Pulling back, twist, and reach. Pull back, twist, and reach. Pull back, twist, that's two. And last one. And relax, all right, weights down. Maybe a little wider than a normal push-up. Elbows on the floor in between. Three plank jacks, and step up to those weights, keeping that core nice and tight. Starting in two, one, and go. One, two, three, up, up, push-up. One, two, Down one more time. And relax. Beautiful. On our backs. So we're moving opposite arm and leg for two different movements. Then we'll do the other side. We're going to start with a fly and then an overhead reach. Let's grab those weights. Make sure we keep a nice tight crunch with our shoulders up a little bit at the top. For the whole time, sorry, to get more stretch in our chest and to keep our abs a little tighter. Knees can be bent or straight. I'm going to start with them bent. So let's go to the side first. Breathe in, reach. Keep everything else tight. Breathe out, close. Now overhead, breathe in. And breathe out. And the other side, breathe in. And breathe in. To the side, first side. And second side. One more each way. set and then we're done with our legs and squats we'll work into some arms and shoulders and then finish with some weighted core movements so we've got about 10 more seconds maybe 15 we'll start set two all right let's grab those weights Three per side, big huge step, shoulders stay square. Ready, and reach. Pull it back, uppercut, and back. Big reach, now pull with that leg, twist, and back. Reach, pull it back, twist, and reach. Pull it back, twist, there's two, one more per side. Big reach, pull back, twist. And last one, reach, pull back, twist, and relax. Good, weights on the floor. <sighs> Elbows in between, starting five seconds. <sighs> two, one, and show time. One, two, three, up, up. And 
And uh, last one. And relax. Whew. I love opening that chest like that. It feels so good. All right, grab those weights on our backs. Three and three. Let's do it. Let's out of the way. All right, weights up, legs up, shoulders up to the side. Overhead. So our first exercise, we're going to be standing up, we're going to have our palms turned out, our elbows are tucked. We're going to go bicep curl, one, breathe in, breathe out, bicep curl, two, breathe in, breathe out, keep the core nice and tight. We're going to reach up, thumbs together, and then breathe in back down to here, and then we'll do it again. We're going to go through four of those. After that, we're going to be standing one leg in front, we're going to go for 30 seconds. We're going to bring our hands to our shoulders, and then extend. When we come back, try to bring them as tight as you can and then extend. So don't let the elbows drop. We want to work the back and keep that chest open as we extend those kickbacks behind us. We'll finish down in a table, working our uh, arms a little bit more with our core and stretching out the back of our shoulder. And then we'll do it again one more time. So these are all going to be, well, the first and the last will be for reps. The middle one again will be for time. Bend the knees a little bit, turn the palms out and let's do it. Breathe in. Breathe out, one, breathe in, all the way down, two, breathe in, and three, and down, one, two, three, and down, two more times, one, two, three, Last one, keep those hips and core tight. One, two, three, and relax. Nice, all right, shake out those arms a little bit. We are going for time here, but it doesn't mean I want us to rush it. I want us to hold that contraction at the end for a second maybe, and then come back slow. So we're not going too fast and keeping the tension dialed up on our arms. All right, stepping forwards, starting in two. One, elbows up and go, extend, elbows up high, extend, one more time, And down, nice, into a table for the next one. We're gonna lift our knees into a plank for the second part of this movement. So we're gonna be on our dumbbells. When we bicep curl here, try not to let the elbow move. We wanna keep it right under the shoulder. So let's do it together. We're gonna to do three per side. Ready, bicep curl across. One, breathe in, breathe out. Two, breathe in, lift the knees, reach under, and back, other side. One. Two, lift the knees under, and again, one, two, up and under, and back, and one, two, up, under, one more per side. Two, lift, under, and back. Last 
last one. One, two, lift, under, and relax. Beautiful. All right, one more set, one more circuit, and then we're all done. Turn the palms out, nice full range at the bottom every time, and let's do it. Curl one, two, and up and over three, and down one, two, three, and down. Two more times. One, two. Back, last one. Two, three, and down. All right, give it a quick shake. The other leg is stepping forwards for these two claps. Keep those elbows up high. Starting in four, three, two, and let's do it. Elbows up, breathing. Beautiful. All right, grab some water. One more circuit, two exercises, twice, and then we're all done. So we're gonna be using dumbbells for both of these. For the first one, we're gonna put it in our feet, and we're gonna extend out just as far as we can without any pain in our lower back or letting our back lift off the ground here. So we're gonna start with our knees bent. The other dumbbell I'm gonna use to hold here, above my chest, make it harder. You can pull it back a little bit. So we're gonna extend the legs out as far as we can and bring them back. One, reach, and two. We're going for six here. Reach, three, reach, four. Two more times, big reach, flex those heels out. Five, reach, and six, and relax. Beautiful. Our next one's gonna work a little bit of a tricep press too. We're gonna have our legs up straight, and we're gonna twist on the way down. So my legs are out. I'm gonna breathe in, pull the dumbbell back, elbows nice and tight, breathe out, press, crunch, crunch down and twist until my hands wanna to touch the floor, and breathe in. We're doing six of these as well. Breathe out, crunch, twist the other way. Breathe out, breathe out, and twist. Breathe in, and out, and twist. One more each side, breathe in, and out, and twist. Last one, breathe in, 
and out, and crunch, and relax. All right, one more set, six and six, and we're all done for today. Let's go to about 10 more seconds. Uh, hit them while they're still hot to finish up our day. All right, grab those dumbbells, either just in the feet or just in the hands, maybe one in each or just none for the last set. Whatever feels better for you guys. Starting with that 90 degree, arms out, and let's do it. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and two. Breathe in, and three. Reach, four. Reach, five. Reach, six. And sitting back up, nice job. All right, last one of the day, six big ones. Let's open up that chest. Breathe in, and out, and crunch, and twist. Breathe in, and out, crunch and twist. Breathe in, and out, crunch and twist. Three more, breathe in, and out, and twist. Down, and last one, breathe in, and out, and twist. And relax, good job you guys. So if you guys like that, adding a little bit of mobility with some intervals and our weights, getting the most done possible with just a little bit of time, always my favorite way to work out. So if you guys like that, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like, let me know which parts you liked. I will enjoy making more videos throughout the holidays too. As the weather gets colder, you stay inside, let's stay warm by keeping on training and having fun with it too. So I'll see you guys later, keep working hard and Thank you.